Excessive rains, low commodity prices, and President Donald Trump's trade war tariffs have hit Cowland farmers hard. As harvest season comes to a close, farmers are hoping to break even, and some of them are hoping they won't lose everything. Some local producers say they've braced for the worst. On tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Brady Mallory travels to Huron to introduce you to two farmers and show you why they say they're standing behind the president. When the sun comes up every morning, a farmer named Don Kleinsaucer always sees the bright side of today. I just love God's creation and I, I feel very fortunate. To, and blessed to be where I am. A few miles north of Huron, harvest season is in full swing. To you, this may just be a downpour of soybeans. To Brent Kleinsaucer, it's a flood of memories that carry him back to 1962 when his dad, Leland, started the family farm. A lot of people have been asked, where, you know, where does your food come from? And they say a grocery store. You know, and, and that's, that's sad to think of that. Um, because, you know, it comes from farmers. This husband and wife are two of the people feeding the entire world. They reap a lot of pride, joy, and happiness from the seeds they sow every season. But even a labor of love is brutal work. And it just has to come out. We have to make a profit. We have to break even. The Klein saucers aren't alone with these thoughts. South Dakota Farmers Union President Doug Somke says five years of low prices are hurting area farmers, and recent retaliations to President Donald Trump's trade tariffs aren't helping. The concern is how long it's already taken, and there's really no end in sight, even though, you know, recently we heard the talks between China and the United States are, are you know, promising, looking forward to the, to the G20. The topic of tariffs is actually how I met Brent Kleinsaucer right here in the Sioux Falls coffee shop. He came up and introduced himself, and we had a long conversation back in September. It was actually the day after I interviewed President Donald Trump and asked him questions about those tariffs. So for family farmers here who are worried about losing their generations-long farms at the end of the season or early retirement, any words of comfort for them? Well, they would have lost them anyway because they were being hurt so badly with the trade barriers. We will tell you they are going to be in a very good position very soon. At the time, Brent said he was worried about losing his second-generation farm, but said he believes in what the president is doing. Long-term, Brent says new deals could help future farmers. I see what he's trying to do. He's, you know, all our trade agreements that we've had for the last 20 years or so, it always seems like they're lopsided. Did you ever get mad? Did you ever get frustrated that you would have to suffer? Um, not so much. I mean, yeah, I mean, you'll have a day or two that's like that, but like I said, we're, we're kind of used to being the brunt of a lot of things over the years. Samke says not every farmer he talks with has this outlook. The sad thing is, is farmers are being used here. They, they didn't ask for this to happen, uh, but it came upon them because of a retaliation to other tariffs that we imposed. And that's the, the shameful part of it. Don says no matter what happens, farmers have learned over the years to not completely rely on the government because farming is always a gamble. Do we hope that Trump um, makes an amazing deal and the prices rally like none other? Yes. But I think just um, being raised in the Midwest and being raised on the farm, um, we're used to doing things ourselves. As the last weeks of harvest continue, the Klein saucers say they had a better soybean and corn season than expected and have a little bit of certainty for now. However, Brent doesn't know if the third generation of Klein saucers will take over. If there are a couple more years of bad prices, he says he may give up and rent his land out instead. But what keeps you getting up every day and keeps you doing this? Sometimes I wonder that myself, too. <laughs> I don't know. It just, just the love of, of the farm and, and raising food to help feed the world. Even when the sun sets on a bad day or a troubling season, leave it to a farmer named Don to remind us there's always tomorrow. I mean, that's why we're in this business. We have hope. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory.
The Kleinsausers also talked about the $12 billion short-term relief strategy to protect agricultural producers during trade agreements. Don says many larger farms cap out and won't get as much money as it may seem. She says the program helps, but would rather have decent, fair prices.